Sons of Anarchy ran from 2008 through 2014, and Charlie Hunnam remained an audience favorite throughout the entire run. But what happened to him after the last episode? It seems like Hunnam hasn't been quite the same since Sons of Anarchy ended. Moving on from a role after a beloved TV show ends is never easy for an actor, especially when they've been playing that character for several years. For Hunnam, saying goodbye to Jax Teller was difficult. In fact, the way he describes the experience makes it sound as though he went through a bit of a grieving process. Hunnam was overwhelmingly nostalgic for his time on Sons of Anarchy, and he admitted that he would make up excuses to visit the set and relive his days on the show. He told Glamour, I knew the security guards and for a couple of days said, oh, I forgot something, so they'd let me onto the set, and I'd just walk around at night because I I wanted to be in that environment and go through a personal process of saying goodbye. For six years, Hunnam knew that he had a secure paycheck as Jax Teller. But once the show finished its run, he was responsible for making big decisions about his next career-defining move, and he felt very intimidated by the process. Hunnam says that he struggles with insecurity when it comes to maintaining a career as an actor. He told The Talks, It's a tricky thing to quantify one's career because in some ways, I am in a position where I want to be. I'm getting to work with good directors and tell interesting stories, but I always feel like I am one failed movie away from being unemployable. Here we go. Right. We can only f up from, from here on now. <laughs> Hunnam isn't a fan of the process of choosing roles, and he doesn't enjoy feeling the pressure to succeed at the box office every time. It's no secret that Hunnam is well known for his good looks, but he's an actor at heart, not a model, and he wants to earn respect and attention for his talents. He became uncomfortable with the way some people perceived him during his time on Sons of Anarchy, as someone who coasted to fame on physical appearance alone. When it comes to how other people see him, Hunnam told In Style, I try not to think about that too much because I'm just attempting to shape my own perception of myself and feel confident in my own identity. Hunnam then admitted there will always be people who see him as just the quote, pretty boy, but despite the stigma, he still wants to face the challenge of making each and every performance work to the best of his ability. When Hunnam was young, he lived in a rough neighborhood, so he always had to know how to defend himself. And when he signed on to the film King Arthur Legend of the Sword, he had to go through an intense training regimen, which included learning Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Hunnam ended up getting super into the sport, and he started feeling the benefits of consistent practice. In fact, he says that jiu-jitsu changed his mindset. He told Men's Health, It's not even as much the physical benefit of training, it's the mental. When you're training every day in a combat discipline, it just gives you that eye of the tiger. Even after shooting for King Arthur ended, Hunnam stuck with jiu-jitsu and earned his blue belt in 2018. Hunnam's new hobby seems to have had a profound impact on him. After all, he doesn't do anything halfway, and it's probably a good idea for everyone to stay on his good side now. Hunnam doesn't think that fame and wealth are necessarily indicators of success. He says he actually prefers to work on smaller projects with less financial backing because he feels like the director has more creative control in that scenario. As opposed to focusing on accolades and high salaries, he says he just wants to challenge himself, create films that he's proud of, and work alongside directors who have interesting ideas. He told Uproxx, If I'm involved in a project that I feel excited about, and it gives me a sense of purpose, and it gives me a sense of creative fulfillment, that is deep fulfillment to me and it evens out the balance for me in my own journey. My success, for me, is about getting to continue to work on things that make me excited. It seems like Hunnam has had a lot to reflect on since Sons of Anarchy ended, and he's confident about the direction he's going in now. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.